ecosystem research project really was born out of uh, the desire to capture the lived experiences of many of the people who helped to shape the arts ecosystem in this still young city since the World's Fair in 1962. That was really a threshold moment in terms of the uh, development of the arts in this community. As far as I know, this is the first time that we've documented the history and evolution of the arts in Seattle. Uh, I know that there's been individual research projects that focus on one particular art form, whether that be theater or the museum world or uh, visual arts, etc. But this is the first time I believe that the, the entire arts community of Seattle has been studied in this fashion. What we're doing is we're establishing the baseline and documenting the way that organizations and arts institutions have put together their resources in order to produce the arts and therefore supporting artists. For many years um, in the arts funding world, we've been trying to figure out ways of documenting our work so that we can justify the expenditure of funding both private and public. If it was to be adopted uh, in, amongst the national arts organizations or the nas national advocacy organizations, then we would have a really good national picture showing the growth of arts in, in given cities and using this exact model, which I think has been developed really well. The community is going to benefit in a lot of different ways, whether that's you know, just wanting to understand the arts history here in Seattle, uh, whether that's organizations trying to understand, you know, the history of the environment that they're operating in. Uh, you might have an arts leader who's coming from a different place, coming here to Seattle, running an organization who wants to understand the broader landscape. It's going to help out um, other academics who are interested in doing research in this particular area. The intention is that this project can be used uh, by people in the community, artists, arts administrators, funders, uh, the general public, those who are curious about both what has come before and the relationships between those things. This project's impact on students is huge. AERP is really important because it really helps to document the way the Seattle art ecosystem has evolved over time. Um, I came into the program not really knowing too much about how Seattle arts function together or apart from each other. And once that I got that great understanding of how institutions were born, were enriched, were grown together, um, did multiple collaborations, the more I saw the way Seattle became the way it is, and it's, it's documented. I also think it's an incredible learning tool for not only our own students, but for other researchers and scholars around the world. But I think for the students who are going to remain in the Seattle area, I, I, my hope is that this really gives an appreciation of what was here before they were alive. The project itself is so much bigger than the effort that we are putting into it. Um, it's so much greater than the sum total of our participation. And I think every single time I have an opportunity to be a part of something that has such great implications for the future, it really is rewarding for me.